<laughs> you know you're being filmed, don't you? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just visiting. Hello. <laughs> Checking out the dinghy. How is it like to be inside a sender? All right, check out the paddle boat as well. See if you can spot anything interesting on there. Oh yeah, we found out. One evening we had a visit from a friendly goose. The paddle board had a remainder of oats that I left for the ducks earlier that day. We were watching Star Trek on the stern, as you do, and then... What, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I don't understand. Ah. Ow. Hello. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? Why are all these birds jumping on us? Hey, you're not supposed to... Please don't go inside. <laughs> oh. No, 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 not that way. No, no, that the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna close the door. For try if I can. All right, all right. <laughs> Invasion. The most bizarre thing about this is because it's because the duck did exactly the same thing five minutes earlier, and I said I've never seen anything like that happening before ever. I thought that was really special, and then a goose turns up and does exactly the same thing. That is just impossible. It's statistically impossible. Hi, everyone. What did you call me just now? I said a Jerry's woman. No. <laughs> the boutique mechanic <laughs> told me. You do look like a boutique mechanic. Let me show him. Get a spanner. And you don't look like a boutique mechanic. No, I'm not mechanic at all. What are we going to do? We're going to do an engine service today. And you're, wear you're wearing this? to do your mechanicings. Yes. Can we do an engine service in one hour? Yeah. We've just started the engine for a few minutes to warm the oil up. Apparently it needs to be warm for changing, but it's a really hot day, so probably won't leave it for, for, for very long. How long? Miles says 10.15. Chance to fix the bilge pump. So I've just changed our bilge pump over. Our last one has died. It's, it's probably been in there about two and a half years. Um, I think the guy at the Grove did it. But yeah, that's died and I've actually used the spare one that we had when we were changing the shower a few times. Got one of those in. Um, but yeah, it's working. I need to like trim the pipe, make it sure I've I think now we just need to get everything ready. The one thing we always forget about, um, but we haven't forgotten this time, I hope, is you get the new oil, but you forget to have something to put the old oil in. So we need to get a few of those out. I think I've got some down here. We have forgotten something. Well, we've forgotten the air filter, which we'll pick up in our next vlog. We do have that, which is perfect. We also have a bottle of water in here, unless that's distilled water. Where do we get that? Our batteries. Why are you scaring Mario's? That's not good, is it? 
Ugh. You didn't get attacked. Well, I'm having to walk on the roof. Are you scared of this one? Yeah. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can take the old oil filter off, because if I can't, then there's no point doing any of this. That is true. And they're always notoriously difficult, but I tightened it last time by hand. Clockwise or anticlockwise? That's a little helpful. Gotta go this, it's gotta go anticlockwise. Anticlockwise? I don't want to tighten it. I've got no idea how it works. No, just can't get a good grip on it. I think I'm gonna have to do some engine bay yoga. Definitely grippier. You've done it before, you can do it again. Yeah, it's just really difficult. I can't imagine what it's like with your boat uh, engine, like, you know, if you've got like a semi trad or something, like half under the floor, half in. I mean, this is fairly good access for a lot of boats. Yeah? Yeah. Well done. Fine. Okay, we're going to do the engine service today. It almost felt like game over. We're doing the engine service today. It's happening. Do you think I need to put it back on to pump it all out? Because it's not a closed circuit now. I might put it back on. <laughs> that makes no sense. We know we can get it off. <laughs> Do I look like a boutique no. make it? <laughs> hunky? <laughs> What's hunky? Dory. What's hunky? Is that... Hunky Dory. Let me get my hairy chest out. Just get on with it. So you're right, love. You lived on this boat long? A bit. Yeah. Do you know your way around the engine? A bit. Teach your thing about changing your oil. Oh. Are we taking the washer? Uh, someone changed um, our oil once and left it on and all the oil fell out the engine and they had to reload it. There it is. Tell us what engine we've got. We've got a diesel one and it's green. Uh, we have a Beta Marine 43. Keel cooled. And I think it's also the same engine as a Kiaboto. I think they're the same thing. A Kiaboto and a Beta Marine. A Kabuto. A Kabuto. Kabuto. Yeah, 43. Apparently they're really well built engines, reliable engines. Add a thin layer of oil to the surface of the gasket before screwing. And then turn the filter firmly. It's like when you do with a uh, wine glass. Is it gonna sing? <laughs> oh, Benny! Benny. 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 What's this? Sorry. Oh, it's okay. right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it back on. We need to fill it up with oil now. Different colour. Okay. Remember this the same. Talk me through the fuel filter, please. Fuel goes through it and filters any horrible bits out of it. And how do you change it? I think you untwist the other one with great ease and then screw the other one back on. I'm not sure whether I need to apply some oil there or not. Do you want to read the manual? There is no manual. What's what manual for the engine? When in doubt, look in the engine manual. It should have all the information there. Alright, there's this one. Leading. Oh no, I thought you said it on the old one. Oh, it does. Yeah, it says oil. You need to oil it. Yeah. Okay, great. Because this bought cheap parts and you say beat a marine on the box. Then it's kabutter. I know, but this one's a beat a marine one and it's got the instructions on it. I forgot I had tea. 
how's it going? Loads of fuel going everywhere. Is it an emergency? Okay, well, we're gonna have to put the old one back on and. What's happened to this one? Where did you get this one from? I don't know, maybe this was on the boat that we found. Because I always order them myself. Yeah, th this, is, this was on the boat, I'm sure. That doesn't go on. I'm just gonna see what level it's at now. Because last time I was filling it up, I didn't even look. I was just putting all of the bottles. The violin. This time I'm going to check. It should be empty, obviously. This is where I try not to pour oil all over the engine. Yeah, see these two lines on the dipstick? One second. These two lines on here, um, low and high, we're coming up in the middle. To be honest, I want to be on the high end. Last time we put it in, it was too full. Over the line. It was over the line. So when that heats up, maybe it expands. It's not good. That's all we can do today for the engine. Um, I'm going to order the air filter and the fuel filter that we're missing and part two is coming up. Engine manual is really useful. So you wanted to know how to check for the fuel pump when to stop and start. Yeah, bleeding it. Yeah, so there is a bleed screw on the fuel pump and you need to um, open it by one to two turns then move the pl priming plunger on the fuel filter head up and down until the fuel with no bubbles comes out of the bleed screw okay. and then shut or tighten the bleed screw and continue to hand prime for 10 seconds to push fuel through the fuel pump and okay. then you start the engine. Do you want to give it a go? Tool emergency. That's too small, and that one's too big. There it should be this one. Once you tighten the screw, you then have to hand pump for another 10 seconds. Cool. I feel like I'm doing tech support today. I'm reading the manual. Let's try and start it. Let's see if it works. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune in for the part two of the engine service in the next couple of episodes. Huge thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting these videos. Thanks to all of you, we are able to create our stories weekly. If you would like to get involved in Zoom calls, vote on the upcoming videos, get Cruising Alba sticker or other perks, 
join our Patreon family. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.